Welcome back to Exploring Whiskies. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we have our third, third. Montana Muled. Third and final. <laughs> Whiskey. Muled back. <laughs> this is Five Drops Bourbon. Let's see. Bozeman, Montana. Mm -hmm. And they have, so they have a lot of fun, fun parts of this. So part one, there's no secondary grain. Uh, a lot of times a bourbon will be, you know, the corn and a rye and the barley and the corn or a wheat and mm -hmm. a barley. No, corn, barley. barley. Done. So that's first slightly odd thing. They don't give you the actual mash bill, but they also, they do say a hint of malted barley. So I'm guessing three to five percent, probably something along those lines. The other interesting part is they use sweet corn. So it's not like that regular yellow dent number one it's corn. White. Yeah, it's it's gonna have like so it's it's gonna be really really sweet, which should produce a lot of sugars mm -hmm. and create more alcohol. But they proofed it down to ninety anyway. So, and their other other piece to this is there plastic on it? No. Everything is from Montana. Everything's from Montana, and oh, the grains in the water. It is one year old no they want to take advantage of the harsh winters i guess you can call it yeah and then the dry dry hot summers yeah which <sighs> which is, there's not a there's not, i wouldn't think there'd be a lot of humidity up there right i would agree so i don't know but so i wonder if they have issues well they, they do use the smaller smaller barrels so i wonder if they have if they have any issues there before we get into the nosing and tastings and all that fun stuff uh did wanted to just um it's april um this is now the second april we've mm -hmm. been on had this channel april is important uh specifically for this channel because uh, my son's birthday was uh, was april 23rd um and we will be celebrating that um with that make a wish day is april 29th and we started this channel as a nod yep. to my son's wish. Mm -hmm. So his wish was to be a YouTube star. We are far from being YouTube stars. We're on stars, YouTube. But we're on YouTube. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this month, uh, we'd like to raise some money for Make-A-Wish. And we will match up to $500 for anything that's donated between now and April 29th, 29th. which is World Make-A-Wish Day. It is... An amazing experience to watch. It, you know, if you have a child that's struggling with some kind of illness and hospitals and all that other, to be able to be distracted and, you know, meet a hero, which my son got to meet one of his favorite YouTube creators, Annoying Orange. So uh, there, there's just, it's such a great distraction for both the child and the family. Uh, it's a great it's just great. So we very much appreciate you doing it. Yep, absolutely. Every little bit counts. Back to Montana whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so five drops. Five drops. So we did not buy a bottle for the house. This one, a couple of us actually sampled uh, at dinner one night. Wow, is that corn sweet? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is the highest fruit. Uh, high fructose so corn this syrup. One has, <laughs> this has more of that craft note. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, like I, I get, yeah, that grassy yeah. hay note or mm -hmm. whatever it is. But the sweetness on that, that is ridiculous. That is high fructose corn syrup. Not overly aggressive, 90 mm -hmm. proof. It's not coming across very aggressively. I would have thought at the year it'd be a little like harsh, but. Not there on the nose. Mm -mm. I'm thinking water is going to help this one. That's a really different. What is that note at the end? <laughs> oh, dear God. That got. What's that? What is that? That's like when you suck on a, uh, when, when you eat a uh, icicle pop and you start uh, sucking on the wood stick. I hate that. Ugh. Tell me at the end of it that. It hurts my teeth thinking about it. The end of that is that like wet. Like cardboard. Stick. Note, wood, cardboard. Ooh, mouth that does not finish out. well. Mouth dried out like you're chewing on that wood popsicle yeah. stick. That doesn't finish well. 
The nose is not. I don't. Totally so I remember off. actually being pretty decent. Maybe it was the neck pour. I remember being pretty decent, and I, that was like my second drink of the night. All right, so, so you still had a palate. Yep. No, that that is very um, crafty. <laughs> the grass, the like wood note, the it's not a good so like what a charred you're saying wood is note. It probably should age it longer than a year. I think that one year does not equal four. Probably. That's their claim: is one year in Montana equals four. I, uh, I disagree. The nose is not horrible, but it's not spectacular by any means. Second sip was better. I picked up more cinnamon. The sweet note in the beginning is really kind of pleasant. That finish, yeah, I got a little cinnamon, but that finish is just, ooh. <laughs> I am not a fan of that. <laughs> not a fan of that. That is not, that is not a finish of a palette that I would like. All right, let's see. You said water would help this, right? I'm thinking. Yeah, wet cardboard. That really, oh God. Yeah, now it's totally <laughs> cardboard. That didn't change much. Yeah. yeah, it did. Sweet corn to me with a little bit of a funny wood note. It's not as crafty for me. It's. Uh, I don't know okay. why I it's not as hay note. I don't yeah. know why I keep going back Grassy, to that, the, hay. the revival, that one from was it Charleston. Yeah. But it's not it's not as heavy. Once you add water to it. The corn syrup mellowed out a little bit too. Like I actually start to get I'd almost want to say like rye like baking spices. There's no rye in it, but there's a little bit of a baking spice note. Sweeter finish. Yeah, I think it's no more wet cardboard aftertaste. That's a much better finish. Yeah, <laughs> that's much better. I still... So this one probably needs drops of water or maybe a small key. Maybe needs five drops. Five, yeah. <laughs> maybe hey, that's what the name is about. you. Actually, I did look up. The name is some kind of a nod to an like an old tincture that used to be sold at the like apothecaries or something okay. in Montana. Uh, it was supposed to be like well renowned in the area to cure your illnesses, so it's a nod back to that. But well, maybe you should write them and tell them that the five, five drops, drops really just means you need to add water. five drops of water to your <laughs> meat whiskey. That's better with the water. Yeah, it is better than water. Yeah, that that cardboard note disappears. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. I'm not gonna say disappears. It's pretty much gone. It's much better this way. Now see, now the nose went backwards the second go around. It, it's losing every time I go back to the nose that that sweet corn like high fructose keeps going down, down. and the the heirloom young corn. Was it the heirloom corn is that what they called it yeah area? right yeah I think so yeah. they're they're whatever their sweet corn you would think that sweet corn would make this like sweet all the yep. way through and it's it started that way but it got funny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say the first one. I can't remember the name off the top of my dry, head. It was a Dry Hills Distillery, I think is what it was called. That was probably my favorite. Well, that was a bottle and bond. That was a bottle and bond, bond. weeded bourbon. Right? Weeded Wasn't that whiskey. the wheat one? It was a weeded whiskey. Okay. Yeah, that one That one was pretty tasty. Uh, Big Horn. Big Horn was... It's a good palate. Solid. It, it was wasn't the proof, the proof was too. Yeah, at eighty proof, it was just like, eh, it's fine. This one's got some. You sound like a bunch of funny snobs. notes. Oh, we are. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, this has got some funny notes. It's not. Let's try with the undrinkable. Cube. Let's try this with the cube. It's not undrinkable. No. So it's not like where you're like, oh, oh you got to try this <laughs> type. <clears throat> but there is some. The youth really shows up in this. Like yeah. that one year is, it's not just enough. not, it's not doing it. Okay. Eh. Eh. Well, again. Eh. It's one we can't get here. No, definitely one we can't get here. Um, if I were going to give this the rating, uh, the, the first Montana one, which is Dry Hills. I think it's what it was called. Probably like a B. It's a B whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bighorn's probably like a eh, C, lower C, okay. C minus. This is this is a D. It's not an F. It's a D though. This is a solid D. This is 
All right, so this one, this one goes for 50 bucks, I believe. <coughs> Sorry? <laughs> Dude, we, we've, had, we've had worse than... Absolutely. Than uh, yes, we have. Similar, if not a little bit more. Yes, we have. And I would do the same thing. Yeah. If I were in Montana and I had the ability to buy some whiskeys, I'd buy it just because I want to try it. Yep. And I wanted to bring it back so you could try it. All right. So I very much appreciate that you <laughs> mulled it back. It's not spectacular whiskey, but... All right, well, after the show, let's try it with a small cube. Yeah, we'll throw a cube in there. Let's see what... Grab see a what? Ross glass and throw us like a fridge cube. Yep. But the water helps, mm -hmm. but... The water helps the palate. It didn't do much for the nose. Like for the initial nose with the water, for me, changed it. It wasn't as the, as you put it, the grassy... Grassy or... Crafty, crafty nose. Yeah. Um, Kind of got rid of that, uh, but the pa it helped the palate. Yeah, definitely helped. Yeah, the that it does not finish with the wet cardboard or the um, popsicle stick Ugh. flavor. God, popsicle stick. That's what it tastes, dude. Like I oh, swear, it hurts my teeth. Something we can't get here. It's nice to bring it back, share yeah. it with you, yeah. share it with our other buddies. It. Yep. Um, let them sample bourbons from around the country. Yeah. Um, Got to share these with the boys this weekend. Let's see, get their thoughts. I think it's gonna be 50-50. Who likes it? Who doesn't? Uh, well, for this one, I'm, I'm going to lean more like 70 30. <laughs> 70, 30. We'll check down some more. Yeah. Maybe in our travels, Absolutely. we'll come across some in another state, but it's from Montana. Who knows? We'll never see. Know. Maybe our new liquor store, newish liquor store, Total Wine, might get some. You never know. Hey, next time I go back to Jersey, that's all I'm going to buy. I'm buying a whole bunch of Jersey with little whiskeys. There's no, some. you don't. Don't do that. Yeah. No. Oh, come on. You want it? No, I don't. You know you want to. No. All right, on that note, no. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the review of our third Montana whiskey. At some point, we'll get one of us will get back up the way and grab some more, yep. and uh, we'll do it on the show. But we appreciate you uh, watching this review. We hope you liked it. If you did, we encourage you to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We put out content like this twice or more a week. Uh, and if you have the means, please consider donating to our Make-A-Wish fundraiser. We'd really appreciate it, and every dollar you throw in there gets matched. So, yeah, any little bit helps. Yep, appreciate the support. Yep. Thanks for watching. See you on next episode. Cheers. Cheers.